This video is sponsored by Dev Mountain, an in-person coding and design bootcamp. Hey friends, what's up and welcome back to this YouTube channel. I have been really quiet for the past few weeks um, and I've been planning a lot of cool new video, a lot of cool new content. And what I really wanted to do is to do a video out of my van series because I will be working from my van for the next months and that's why I started to do videos from this van too. So I hope you're feeling good, I hope you're all healthy and uh, I hope the current corona situation isn't really that bad for you. But I also wanted to give you a couple of ideas on what you can do during this corona time. If you're working at a company as a designer, I want to encourage you to do the best work that you can. You will feel proud about yourself and other people will also be proud about you, even if you're not 100% happy at the company that you're currently at. If you don't have a job, I will encourage you to learn and practice design. What I mean with learning is that I'm encouraging you to read books about design, but not just about design itself. I'm also encouraging you to read books about topics that are also interesting to you in your personal life because I think it's very important to do things that do good to our bodies and to our souls. So yeah, read books that inspire you and that will push your career forward. You can also of course watch videos and learn about new skills, new programs, new design, state of the art uh, things and news like that. On my channel I have many video series about sketch, principle, uh, life as a designer and so on. So I think there's a lot of content that you can watch and uh, use your time wisely. When it comes to practicing, I will always say use fake design projects to practice design work under like real circumstances. A fake design project is basically something that you like come up in your mind, like a potential client, you think about you're designing for the North Face or something like that. They are trying to hire you for a web or app design project and you are just, I don't know, maybe redesigning their current website. That's a fake design project. You can use that to work on your skills under better uh, circumstances because if you just do like fictional random projects, it's like not going to help you so much, but I think these uh, these fake design projects can help uh, you with that. And I also made a video about that a couple of months ago, so definitely check that out too if you're interested in that. I'll definitely leave a link below in the video description, so check that out. What you can also do is to create UI kits for yourself or for other people. You can even try to sell them. Maybe somebody is going to buy it, but you can also, of course, just use it for your own design system that you're going to use for, a, for an upcoming project or for several new projects. You can build your own custom UI kit that you can use uh, for those projects. And it will also give your project a certain style that you created uh, by yourself. Another thing that I see people doing is those 100 days UI challenges. Like they create a new UI um, or a new design every day for a hundred days. You can of course also do it for 30 days, like a month or so. I also like these challenges because I think they can help you to grow and become a better designer, to keep going and pushing your own designs. Um, but I also like to have some like pauses and to have times where you gather new ideas, new inspiration, and then you can use it from reading books and so on and put all your new thoughts and designs and skills out in those 100 days UI challenges. Another thing you could do is to write a book, write an ebook and just share it for free or try to get some money with it. I think that's a quite cool idea and it doesn't even have to be about design, it can also be about anything else. I think that's a quite good idea to just um, keep your thought process going and to just produce new content, to try out new things Writing is always good to put out your ideas and people love to read. So I can definitely encourage you to start maybe writing your first ebook or your first normal book. But in general, in this current time, I can only encourage you to do things that are good for you. Maybe call a friend, cook a nice meal, like your favorite meal, and just do things that you like to do. Because I think we are all having a kind of big pressure and big like anxiety on ourselves. Some people have that more than other people, but I in general will encourage you 
to just do things that you like and do things that just help you to overcome this current situation, to come through it and to just uh, produce nice work, but also to have a good and healthy life. I hope you liked this new video from the van. This is the first one from this new series. Um, it's more like talking to you, not just designing something and like practicing design, showing you my workflow and so on. It's just uh, giving you more insights into my thoughts, into my current life. And as I said, my life will be working from the van for the next months. So that's why I just started to make these videos. If you have feedback, leave it down in the comment section of this video. If you have a certain question or something like, like that, I will also do a Q&A video very soon. So put down your questions in the comment section and I will definitely answer them. Thank you so much for watching this and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Dev Mountain offers housing at no extra cost for immersive students and they have a career services team to help with job placements. Dev Mountain would love to hear from you so be sure to click the link in the video description if you or somebody you know is ready to dive into the UX design program.